Using in the connotation, you can also perform a number of computational operations directly. You do not need to convert back first, for example, the factors. In this video, you will see four common operations that can be done using in the connotation. And as you will see, this is not complicated at all, so let us take a look. So, first example, substitution. What, are, what does this mean? Suppose we have an AI uh, equals defined as UIMBM and a BI defined as VIMCM. And now we want somehow to substitute this BI in this expression for A. So what do we need to do? Now, first of all, I don't want to have a BI, but I want to have a BM. So I want to write BM, but then we would have VMM, CM. That's not right. We can, uh, we would have an index M three times. So we also need to switch the dummy variable here to, for example, N. So then we have first BI equals VI N C N. And then we have uh, changing the I by an M BM equals VM N C N. And there we have our CN, and then we can just plug it in over there uh, to get our AI equals UIM, which was already there, times a VM and times CN. And there we go. And note, by the way, that the indices are now balancing. Eh? So we have an M occurring twice, which is summed over, and N occurred twice, which is summed over on the right hand side. So on the right hand side, only an I is left on the Left hand side, we also only have an I. So it's always good to check after some of these manipulations whether the indices on left and right of your equality sign still balance. That was the first example. Second example, multiplication. So suppose we have a vector A written as AIEI, -E so expanded in terms of the standard basis, and a B as AJ. EJ also expanded in the standard basis. Then we can compute the inner product A and the product B as follows. Here we have our A and there we have our B. Now the inner product is linear. The AI and the BJ are the scalars, so you can take them out. You can take them in front. So that gives you an AI, BJ, and then the inner product uh, between uh, EI and EJ. Now we well, always, I would say, want to use an orthonormal basis. So this uh, inner product EI, inner product EJ will become our Kronecker kind of delta. So then our A inner product B gives us AIBJ times delta IJ. And uh, of course, you can uh, now, uh, for example, do the summation over J because BJ times delta IJ, we've seen it before, it's just BI. So our inner product A inner product B becomes AI, BI. Third example, factoring. For example, we have, suppose we have, for example, this expression over here. T, I, J, N, J, minus lambda times N, I equals zero. And we have an N on the left and on the right. Uh, sorry, we have an N in both expressions. We like to take it out. However, on, in the first term we have an nj, and in the second term we have an ni. So how can we factor this uh, n out? Well, we use a trick. So we leave the tij nj, and we are going to turn this ni into an nj. And how are we going to do this? Leave this one here. We just include an additional Kronecker delta, because delta ij times nj will give us ni. So now with this trick, we have turned our ni into an nj. And once we have done that, we can take it out. So uh, we have a tij minus lambda times delta ij times nj. So we can rewrite this expression tij nj minus lambda times ni equals zero as uh, tij minus lambda times delta ij times nj equals zero. And of course, if you've done linear algebra, I guess you will recognize this trick because what do we have here? This tij will be some matrix, lambda will be some eigenvalue. So what you actually are doing is that you include an additional identity matrix to write something like a times lambda i times eigenvector equals zero vector. So that's uh, why you use this factoring. And last example, contraction. 
Suppose we have uh, tij is uh, given as lambda times delta, some scalars times delta ij, plus 2 times mu times eij. Uh, looks a bit weird, but later on, if you look, if we'll look into elasticity, uh, you will encounter this expression again. Uh, for now, we'll just do a small computational example, which is called contraction. Contraction means that you will take both indices the same. So you uh, compute the t i i you take the j equal to the i that's what operation is called contraction so if you do it on the left you have to do it on the right so you get lambda times delta times delta i i plus two times mu times e i i well can do that much with the e i i but the delta i i we've seen before what it is it's delta one one plus delta two two plus delta three three so that gives us three so you end up with three times lambda times delta plus two times mu times EII. So you see, using these indices, you can do several computations, several mani manipulations, and you don't have to go back to matrices and factors first. No, you can just use the uh, indices and do the manipulations on that level.